Continue our weather coverage and after the massive hail and flooding last night in Pueblo, uh, more rain expected as Mike mentioned tonight. So what does this mean for Pueblo's famous chili supply? News Nally Nelly Chuck is live at Muso Farms where they say they've actually been pretty lucky so far. Thank goodness, Natalie. Yeah, lucky indeed, Elizabeth. Muso Farm says even with the intense weather that we saw last night, these freshly planted chilies really didn't get as much damage as they've seen from storms in the past. But as we can see right now, there is some incoming weather. It's starting to rain. The wind is really picking up over here. So they said that the farms, as far as future weather goes, are just hoping for the best. Farming can be a gamble. Extra precautions, there's, there's really nothing we can do. Just sit and wait it out and see what happens. So when hail and flooding like this hits. I think we're thinking the same as everybody else. Boy, I hope it don't come here. But Rocky Musso with Musso Farms says their chilies are still going strong. We got fortunate in the fact that uh, right here in this little part, we, we missed a big storm. Um, that could have been pretty devastating. As far as neighboring farms go, Rocky says he hasn't heard of anyone who was hit too hard yet. And we feel bad for, for who it did damage because it, nobody wants that for anybody. We're all exposed to the same elements, so who knows what will happen in the future, but right now we're okay. And if the weather does bring some more damage this season. Luckily, we plant enough chili in different parts, so that way, you know, we can make all the customers happy to come harvest time and, and there's going to be plenty for everybody. And if Rocky could talk to Mother Nature. I talk to her every day. I don't know if she listens, but I just said, come on one more year. <laughs> I also reached out to several of those farms with melons and cantaloupes out in Rocky Ford just to see how their crops were doing after last night. I haven't heard back yet, but if I get any update, it'll be in this article over on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.